It is my pleasure to introduce my colleague and friend, Dr. Lorena Rodrigo, who is going to talk about the most necessary in PDPA. Lorena, please. Thank you very much for attending us today in this session. Uh, we are going about, uh, uh, about we are going to talk about what to do with mosaic embryos. Okay, so we can define that uh, the embryo, the, the embryo status of uh, is defined as uh, when the embryo has more than one distinct karyotype in in, in the, its composition, and uh, the origin of mosaicism uh, is mostly mitotic. When we visualize a PGTA trophectoderm biopsy by NGS, we can observe that mosaicism is visualized with an intermediate copy number of the specific chromosome. In this situation, we call that this chromosome is mosaic. It is important when we perform PGTA to validate our platform to um, uh, correctly diagnose mosaicism. Uh, when we perform um, the validation of our platform based on eight different cell lines and uh, simulating different grades of, uh, of mosaicism, we identify that the threshold that better identified mosaicism was between 30 to 70 percent. By considering this threshold, we can identify the embryos of euploid when they have less than 30% of mosaicism in the trophectoderm biopsy that we are analyzing. We identify low mosaic degree when the trophectoderm biopsy has between 30 to 50% of mosaicism of neoploiding. We identify high mosaic uh, degree when the biopsy has between 50 to 70% of neoploiding. And we identify the embryos as an as a neoploid, a full aneuploid, when it has more than 70% of aneuploid. Considering these thresholds, our total mosaicism rate at genomics is about 6%, being 4% more or less uh, uh, corresponding to low mosaic degree embryos and 2% corresponding to high mosaic degree embryos. In order to evaluate the reproductive outcomes of the low mosaic embryos, our colleagues at Igenomics Italy uh, uh, perform a prospective double blinded non selection trial in which a, nine, a total of 897 single embryo transfers were performed. In order to maintain the blinding of this study, every time that they diagnose a low, low mosaic grade of uh, uh, Embryos with low mosaic grade between 10, 20 to 30 percent aneuploid cells, and embryos with, with medium mosaic grade between 30 to 50 percent of aneuploid cells, they reported these embryos as euploid. In this way, the clinic, the clinics uh, reported, the clinics performed the transference of the embryos, but only uh, considering the morphology of these embryos. When the, the reproductive outcomes were evaluated, they observed similar pregnancy rate per, uh, per transfer, sim similar uh, bio biochemical pregnancy losses, similar miscarriage rates, and similar live birth rates, independently on if the embryos were considered euploid with mosaicism between 20 to 30 percent and with mosaicism between 30 to 50 percent. When they perform the analysis of the prenatal and postnatal follow-up, they observe similar results in embryos uh, considered euploid, low putative, uh, low mosaic, low mosaic, and medium mosaicism. 
there were no differences between the pregnancies yet it with the transfer of these three categories. When they uh, they uh, they use uh, several um, embryos for research, in which they perform uh, different embryo biopsies, and they analyze the concordance with the inner cell mass, and they observe that when in, the, in those embryos having euploid result uh, of the trophectoderm biopsies, and most cases in between 20 to 30 percent the more than 99% of the inner cell mass were chromosomally euploid. And when the, the, um, the trophectoner biopsies had an incidence of mosaicism between 30 to 50%, more than 95% of the inner cell mass were also euploid. However, in those embryos with high mosaicism, between 50 to 70%, more than 60% of the inner cell mass were chromosomally aneuploid, and more than 90, 98% of the trophectoderm biopsies having an aneuploid result had also the inner cell mass as uh, uh, chromosomally abnormal. So this is explaining the good reproductive outcome of the transfer of embryos with less than 50% of mosaicism. This is a theoretical analysis that they included also in, the, in their study. Uh, it was just to evaluate the implications for cumulative life birth rate if those mosaic embryos were not transferred. And they observed that if embryos between 30 to 50% were not transferred, the cumulative life birth rate had been reduced in, uh, in, in 11%. Uh, and if the mosaicism had been considered between 20 to 50 percent, 36 percent of life birth rate had not been achieved. So, uh, as a summary, we can say that over one third of the babies would not have been born if mosaic embryos below 50 percent were not transferred in this trial. So, in conclusion, as the reproductive potential uh, observed in this uh, report is very similar between euploid and low mosaic debris embryos between 30 to 50 percent. We can say that embryos with intermediate copy number between 30 to 50 percent can have a good prognostic, uh, 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 prognosis, a good reproductive potential, and should be considered as candidates for embryo transfer. However, embryos with high mosaic debris this is more than 50%, would need throat genetic counseling because there is no sufficient data from correct available studies regarding the transfer of high mosaic embryos. So thank you to attend today.